All right. My name is Dion. I'm a junior. My hip hop poem is called It. All right. I can start. What do you stand for? See, I'm sure you've heard this before, but if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. In life, we're expected to meet certain standards, which leaves us stranded and abandoned, and then you're nothing more than a memory to the people who set those standards because you're not good enough. Nothing comes easy in life except one thing, being yourself. There's nothing easier than being yourself to experience good things and then feel good about yourself. Hip-hop will guide you rather than lie to you. Hip-hop will have you flying like Peter Pan and you'll always be in flight because you'll never land. Even though I got off topic, I know what you're thinking. What is the topic? And now your thoughts are beginning to feel all microscopic. This unrecognizable flow is tropic. I'm cocky, I'm hip-hop's rocky, you can't stop me. <laughs> As we begin to change, it may sound strange to try to blame the game and put shame on his name for its lack of changing the fact of it staying the same. Where are we dying to live when we're just living to die? Where are we trying to give when no one gives us a try? And where are we trying to see when there's nothing in sight but a goodbye? I don't see the good in a goodbye and the reason behind a lie. We wear crowns, poetry flows like water, you better not drown. They try to say hip-hop was dead like somebody shot her down. Hip-hop is forever young and me, my peers, and my enemies. My generation is sick, cure them with the remedy. My flow is slick, I find you sliding up and down the street. Hip-hop is dangerous, it will have you snap, crackle, and pop. You would think it was a serial killer, but yet a spiritual healer. In corner of the block, slinging amethyst rocks, lyrical dealer. Collectively, selectively, falsely accusing hip-hop and objectively rejecting the fact that hip-hop has respectively set society free. Better now than never, right? We're taking off. This is going to be one heck of a flight. We dream to achieve, and we're inspired to believe. Whoa! How's the Hunter family okay with buying Bubba's Pampers from the land of the hot sun? And they still want to point their guns, hating and barricading them from our land so that they can't take our jobs? Please, stop acting like slobs eating your corn on the cobs, little redneck snobs that are creating your mobs to chase Rico back over the border. Who do you think made this outsource? It's the same man you voted for, so don't be mad when his plans run their course. Stop being ignorant, like the color of the other man's skin is more important than what he'll do for you. Thinking, Obama's a Muslim, he'll bring terror to us all. It's funny, because my mom's surgeon was a Muslim last fall. I hope he didn't plant a bomb inside her, because that's what we know they all do. Gosh, I can't believe our nation has some people like you. I'm tired of the racism, the ignorance, and watching people get brainwashed before my own eyes. Well, my mom told me. Well, my pappy said. You want to go and take away a woman's right to choose? She's coming from a home where she was sexually abused. Read your Bible correctly or put it away. I have every right to get married, even if I'm gay. Where did our separation of church and state go? How can a nation that's come so far be stepping so far back? I have a dream that one day our lower, middle, and upper class will walk hand in hand, instead of being disconnected by people that just don't understand. And especially the people that do understand. Making more and more money while the rest of the country suffers, maybe they can cash out on their private doctors and their private hospitals, but my mom can't. So don't get it confused. I don't think that the system should get abused by people who refuse to work hard. But my mom and dad do work hard. If it weren't for Obamacare, my mom wouldn't be here today. No man deserves to die in the street because he can't afford to pay. Look at Europe. They have a better way. Free health care, college, and rights people don't try to take away. We broke away from Great Britain. Now look where we're at today. I haven't seen an eagle fly above our beautiful for spacious sky in a while. He's probably bowing his head in shame at the Scottsboro Boys trial. And crown thy good with brotherhood sounds just as fake as metropolitan police officers. I want to stop seeing from sea to shining sea, cheap clothes being shipped from Indonesia to Target. I want to see beautiful for patriots dreams that see beyond the ears. And thine alabasters cities gleamed, undimmed by human tears. America? Yo, America, are you listening to me? God shed his grace on thee till nobler men keep once again. And why do jubilee? I don't have a title for my poem. Okay. Okay. What is a thug? A lifestyle or a name branded on the race? You got Hispanics and whites, but who's the main race to blame? They face discrimination and struggles, but who's, eh. But being a thug, it's a, sl it's a slang the cream folks use. But no, not just those. We just dropped a G. Um, they use it as an excuse, like a dad not taking care, taking care of his kids so they can stand on the block singing rocks, trying to make it big. You're a TV propaganda, advertises the thug life, advertises bling. That doesn't mean, um, that doesn't mean a thug. It just shows you to show your butt. But we need to show more. Using guns, more like hiding behind a toy. Back when you had fists, now you use bullets to finish. Uh, and that gets you locked up, boxed up, spending 25 to life, never getting to see your mom and pops. Sagging pants, white tees, and Jordans, thinking you own the hood. Why don't you take a double take? You're just a pit of society that everyone spits on. You spit on society, you, know, you show no individuality. Listen to the music behind the lyrics. Um, 
and you will hear the words that would never um, show images that were on the TV or that mu music video you see because the blind man knows um, the real reason behind the music. Just because you live in the hood don't mean that's how you should be acting. You got today's youth robbing, stealing, and thugging. They learn from what they see. Why not recognize yourself for someone else you could be? Uh, <clears throat> grown men still acting like kids, kids except they turn into killers. You say you're a thug. Ha, I remember Compone, Luciano, Escobar, and Gambino. They were real, but you, but you, no, you're just phony. You and your homies. Uh, <clears throat> more like a hood rat definition, you solve problems with guns. You ride in a Cadillac that was made in what, 2001? Looking, uh, looking like it was tricked out by a blind man selling dope on the corner. Ha, more like, how can I take your order? But why be a thug? It's like talking to a wall, hoping they'll talk back to you. I can't change you. Not even looking in the mirror could uh, even show you what you've become into. You can't compete with an MC. You've got a competitive but an unambitious attitude. Even your future looks bleak. You think the thug puts you in the fast lane, but it gets you hurt. In a, uh, it puts you in a world of hurt and pain. Mom's gone, dad's gone, everyone's gone. Just like you left them for the streets, so they left you, so they won't have to see you six feet deep. But why not change? Have your, um, save your subconscious a world of hurt. Put the gun down. Stop trying to take us back like when Tupac and Biggie were gone down. That's all we ask. How, how much longer can this last before, um, <clears throat> before we're a being of the black man's back? Enslaved. Turn the other cheek and put away the fist. But I come from chains and whips where Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. But I come from chains and whips with sweat burns, open sores, and a promised land ain't so promised. That promise was broken, molted, and burned down to the ashes of my ancestors. Blowing in the wind to pass on a dream of broken promises by the man. My race come from cotton fields, cornbread, and poor cash for being lazy, resulting in a backlash, backslid, back bent, back bent over to pick clouds up from the grounds. Those clouds looked at by those men sending messages of help above. Help that won't help because the help felt that the needy needed to experience those harsh experiences. Those experiences squeezed lemon tears out of brown seeds. Seeds planted for a better generation, down for failure. My people all alone in the dark by themselves, blended in the midnight like the dark night, walking stresses with long white dresses and she still was harassed by the color of her dress. Like lynching that Turner wasn't enough. So out of the pressure to pleasure, she became a whore, giving and birth into what she called a sin. But her sin was prideful. With bags and rags, she moved into the home of forgiveness, not remembering that history repeated itself, not knowing that all the sweat wasted off her face was for nothing. Because now the man has control again, with the talk on the iPhone choking your throat, drowning in the fear of not being accepted, making you into what we call a modern day slave. Whipped by Jordan's jump shot, causing shots to be fired by a man that could repeat them shots if it was to save his life. Uncomfortable in matrimony like it's a needle in your back and you're afraid to move. She lets love hold her tight, tight like a rope that will break any second, leaving skid marks on her heart for a long time. Not knowing that Kim will make it acceptable for a hoe to be acceptable. Instead of cotton picking, we picking albums. Albums scarring our mind of constant slayers. Killers that want their penny, that same penny that we pinch for a check mark that keep us in the days. Lost in the labels of labels and images that we forget the picture that we should develop. Maybe we should not have no worries and be like the king and queens that we supposed to be. Because I don't want to be shackled into what they want me to be. Being the culture instead of caring one to keep all my secrets hidden. Mac let me hide my insecurities and type them at the same time. And with that being said, freedom bells are ringing, birds are singing, and the call is ringing, calling for it to be over. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free, chanting in my head like an annoying song, and I will cut my foot off while I let another shackle touch my ankle. Wow. <laughs> okay, my name is Chantel, and my po well, my poem's called The Answer Is No. <laughs> All right, I treat drugs like a law firm. It takes the highest offer. I'm not a smoker, I'm a coffer. I hit my vape inside the sock drawer. The kind of hate I have to offer is blatant in a call for it, because today I want the blazer with the raw type of war, blah, law form. There's a way to live life that's pure and innocent, and one thing that's for sure ain't nobody living it. Some people highlight their motives, I hide mine. These are the guidelines that I hide behind. So abstain from temptation, be humble and patient. Live every day like a declarative statement. Because the pain... And the pain and decay of our civilization is on a ramp. It's displayed on every radio station, on every TV channel. We lose control of the situation until. <laughs> oh. No, I messed up. What is it?
They pump our opinions in our face until we lose our handle on the situation and on the planet. Let's not talk about our future because we cursed it. Thank you. All right, my name is Raven and my title's called Cream. All I ever wanted was the money, obsessed with it like a bee loves honey, it's sweet like a tree I would eat after my mom makes me that hot dinner and that meal was a winner. But if it wasn't for mom out there making that chatter, how would we be able to cheese every day? And that's when hustling come to play. Out there on the streets faithfully, but this relationship is unhealthy. On her throne, those intersections, she's a queen of what she do, selling her body for a price money can't even buy. Yeah, she stay yelling, cash rules, everything around me. But she don't play by the rules. And her ruler doesn't play when it comes to the dough, even though she knows what'll happen and she messes up to so keep hustling. Um, just give her a chance, a chance, a chance to make up for them bad actions, a chance to change her appearance to something a little more revealing, because she know what she's doing, and she does it well. Hitting that pipe every night, she'll be all right, but really what's left to do? Keep hustling. Drug dealer goes to hit that lick, because the only thing he wants to taste is that green. Now, I ain't talking about that leafy stuff, but to kind of make his pockets fluff. Now, keep hustling. They say money is the root of all evil, or maybe it's just what makes people evil. Well, if money makes the world go round, then this world is spinning out of control like a crazy roller coaster. I don't even want to be on this ride anymore, but I got to keep hustling. Oh, but that's the thing. All people seem to live for is the green. Can't live without it, but we're killed for it. That's ironic. People hooked to that money like they hooked to that chronic. Everybody loves money, but money can't buy love, or can it? That's why she's going to still hit them streets every night doing what she got to do to supply for her family. All she knows is hustle. Now keep hustling. Black culture. See, we all come to hip hop. He is who we call our father, giving him all the power, respect, and loyalty. See, as we walk, walk these young black people, we don't even know where to begin. Hoping all the criticism in, not knowing who to make our friend. See, these young girls get knocked up with babies they can't take care of, disrespecting their parents because they have no home training. See, this is what we call our black culture. This culture we are doing without the rights is wrong. The rights and wrongs, this culture where Dr. Martin Luther, Rosa Parks, and Malcolm X died for. Education is freedom of what they strive for. But we today, what the society today, think we deserve so much more. Letting all the nonsense get in our ways. We, stand, we see people standing on corners, and we inside counting their days. Guns and violence is what they turn to. Mommies and daddies, they think they can return to. Bullets and gunshots is what they run to get. I guess fighting out is too legit. Culture. Is this our culture? This culture where blacks got beat. Hung on trees like raw meat. Pick cotton to clean up for them white folks. I guess blacks today take it as a joke. But Harriet Tubman, Sojourn the Truth, and all, my, all them other slaves that fought for us, now they steal and they kill and can't even trust. I feel like, I feel like our father hip hop need to stop playing hopscotch and be real with the generation we face today because half of them don't even know how to pray. Let, not showing God their real fears. Because, because the culture makes them come to tears. Oh, leaving all their power to share. Oh, yeah, this generation, this culture. Pause. Black, black, black. Now it's time to take the world back. Back to the old Africa. Back to the old country. Back to the slaves. Back to the grandmas and grandpas. Back to me and you. Let's change this culture back. Let's take it back, our black people, old and young. Let's take it back. Yeah. My name is Brooke. My poem is called World of Color. We're living in a world of color when we should be living in a world of gray. Judging people in relationships day by day. White, black, Hispanic, and Asian. Why do it matter? We're part of the same nation. Light skin and perfect hair, they catch everybody's stare. We share the same thought, mixed mulatto and biracial. We, we don't judge when it comes to one... We don't judge when it's the same color, but we straight and know one another when it's the other color. The thought is acceptable, but we judge as if we're in court and they're guilty of murder. Because the ones that think their priority become the minority causing chaos through a generation, I don't understand the hesitation. It's okay for minorities to mix with one another, but the seniority of the priority frown upon the mixing of lower classes. The line, the royal line is strayed, and they still think it's pure. It ain't been pure in a year, but it's the cleanest it's ever been. The color finally has line. It's not, it doesn't look so sick anymore with its, with its pale, ugly, white color. White, black, Hispanic, and Asian, and biracial, a beautiful mix of the colors in the skin tone rainbow. It's like mixing colors in kindergarten. You start with the primaries, and to get the secondaries, you have to mix the primaries. 
and now a beautiful rainbow is formed. I don't understand why we're not happy, or why we why we're not happy to see biracial couples. We should be happy our kids that our kids don't see in black and white. Be happy that we're becoming one race because we should be living in a world of gray where everyone's the same. There you go. Morgan Gilmer and my poem is called Suntan. Get your wannabe suntan body out my face talking about how you don't like our race. This isn't a race, but if that's the case, and we've set the pace with our loud, echoing bass and beats and the beauty and the way we speak. Yeah, the words you sometimes call your own, but Elvis, baby, we all know rock and roll is something we once owned while Emmett's rocked and rolled till it crushed his bones. Yeah, you angels left him all alone, the popo. You say we're no good and just from the hood, but you're just misunderstood. Hey, Lewis, turn on the light. Edison, yeah, you're on spotlight. The one Lattimore made to help us see through the night? Night. You still owe us 900% in which, in which the speed Jane Ernest helped you make to sell your shoes to pay your monthly rent. I don't get it. What makes you people think you're better than us? The color of your skin? Prettier than us? Smarter than us, more holy than us, while your, scary, while your skin screams out for lust? Didn't God make us from one generation? Don't we all have the same color of blood? Don't we all cry out the same tears from the salty ocean? Then what were you shooting us for, to see our blood blue? Then what were you torturing us for, to see acid drip down our face because of our race? If that's your God, our God, aren't we all his children? Aren't we all daughters, brothers, sisters, and son? Again, while your skin screams out for son, running away from your own race, the one that killed the one you're trying to become. So get your wannabe suntan body out my face talking about how you don't like our race because we are all people. We are people. We are all people. And definition of people, human beings. Yeah. <laughs> my name is Eugenia, and my poem is called God's Creations. You love me so much you would never let a man put his hands on me. But that man is not a man, but just what you have came to be. <gasps> Muhammad Ali has walked into the room ready for his everyday practice. Why do you do this to me? I'm a slave to caves every time you touch me. The tears run down my cheeks like rain to free me from the pain and wash away the scars being bound by these bars, bars, bar, far. I wish I was far, far away from Far away from the blows that strike under this cloak of visibility where no one knows or seems to hear me. Knows that this nose is broken, like my heart, that I gave, giving you all my trust, poured out my heart, looking for you to clean up the mess, but <laughs> you failed that test. Why do I let you treat me like a master treats his pet? Why do I let you treat me like a master who neglects to take his pet to the vet? Hurt and unkept. Why? Why? I can't decide. But I'll hold on to my faith while I grasp my pride. Oh, and you say I'm your ride or die, but my heart wants to ride while my mind wants you to die. I think about the abuse and my body says what's the use? If I stay, I have to hide and cover with lies. If I leave, I'm dead. And you want to sit there and tell me this is all in my head. Please, I don't need a lecture. I know the fractions of my actions are not equal, but I refuse to stick around for the sequel. Usually, I don't say a word, but today I must be heard for me and the others who's witnessed the beat, your beat, to a song we no longer want to dance to, educate you on things your mama should have taught you. God's, no, creative creations from all of God's nations deserve to be preserved for they came from you. And no matter how you feel about this decided deal, your apology is way overdue. Oh, very good. Yeah. 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 Right. I'm Mackenzie Tuttle, and my poem is called Save Me. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. I'm inside you, but you can't see me. But you know I'm there. I want to live. I'm a human part of you. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. I have two arms, two eggs. Two legs. I have blue eyes like you. You can ha you can hear my little heartbeat. You can feel my little hands flutter. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Fifty-five million of my brothers and sisters are boarded. All men are created equal. Why don't laws protect me? There's a law before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. There's laws against murder, rape, 
and stealing. What about my rights as an unborn child? Laws about drugs, drinking, seatbelts, and helmets to protect them, to protect people from hurting themselves. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Why don't, why don't they protect me? Why can't you give me a chance? Or why can't you give me up for adoption? Before I formed you in the womb, I knew. Why can't you give me a chance to live? Abortions have not improved the lives of children. We still have abuse and neglect. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew. Killing me hurts you too. Yeah, I walk to the shadowy, shadow of death, for feeling no, fearing no evil. Thou art with me. Thou road and staff with comforts me. Painful. You risk getting breast cancer. Emotional, physical pain. What if I'm not perfect? Are you saying that? Handicapped people have no value. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Go, girl. You ready? My name is Doyle Reynolds. My poem called, I Hate Sneak Dissing People. I hate sneak dissing people. Two face to fake ain't with that. I keep my circle tight. I done kept it real from the jump. Think they know me. They don't know me. They don't know I'm from the hood. Just because I'm younger doesn't make you wiser. I'ma always be good. If you want to beef, you know why I be. I'm always with my team. So what's up? You step up or you shut up. Don't sneak this about me. I'm going to show people what you don't want them to see. A world without rules or control. A world where anything is possible. People everywhere telling me who to be and what to think. Ufus. Ufus not immortally. More than anything, Ufus the power to make choices. I hate sneak this and people two face to fake I ain't with that keep my circle tight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, my name's Malik and my poem is called Blank. I have the brain of a hurricane, a swirling wind of thunder and sticks of lightning at the base of the pit in my mind. Drum away, I say. These irregular rhythms in perfect sync until it all goes down the drain. Wash away. Pause. Noise consumes us all. We fall prey to the street violence. Duck from the police sirens. We keep trying to peace silence, but now peacekeepers seem mindless. But if you stop and listen, you can hear the quiet is dying. We all pray for our prey. Our prayers are predators that string us along. But whether or not we're the Geppetto snacking on some Sargentos, the ghetto was viewed as a cheesy little puppet from the get-go. Pause. It's almost encouraged to be loud these days. That road less traveled is filled with the silent evil and the unforeseen. So we stick with familiarity. Happily, she tells us lies. Lies, like conformity is our family. Egos are our friends. Education is the enemy. Education kills. Curiosity may have killed the cat, but if you give that cat a gap, make that gat go clap, clap right back. Where's your curiosity at? Who needs to know math when you're strapped? And sure, I'm aware of the fall of it. I'm completely cognizant, but I will never call it quits. I'll still be home putting all this knowledge in my noggin, getting ready for college. Meanwhile, they at the pop of Molly's trying to sweat like they was out jogging. Pause. Okay, <laughs> Misery loves company like the boisterous love megaphones. People scream about their problems but hesitate for solutions. People love to shamelessly judge but hate to be humbled. People crave money but can't afford the cost. We all want to be good, but that cold finger of fear pulls us back ever so gently. The few who oppress the many keep their voices sealed as they scream and scorch the souls of our kind. The, mm. the sad and walking but never talking husks of humans march on as they complete the operation of vocal apartheid. It figures that the figures, public figures, figured out for us would leave us disfigured in a configuration of failure. Fairness, fairest, guide this wheel through the sick carnival discord. No one asks for admission, they just end up paying for it. Moving away from the stagnant masses leaves the class as fractures of inhabitants waiting in a stagnant mash of cavalry blasts. Lightning flash, thunder crash, winds clash. My brain is a hurricane, my words are the quiet rain. The eye of the storm is finally closed. The beat of the drums are finally done. Silence. <laughs>